Hey guys, I'm Farah and welcome back to my channel. So a few days ago, I deep cleaned my fridge and I thought, why not do a video? Well, everyone stores and organizes their fridge according to their needs and convenience. So I'm not here to change that. But by watching my video, if you do take away any tips or even if it gives you that little bit of inspiration to start cleaning your fridge, I just couldn't be happier. So this is a Hitachi 700 liters 4 door refrigerator. So I got this fridge mainly because of its huge fridge space. I rarely use my freezer to full capacity. But little did I know that a pandemic was coming and I needed to freeze a lot more things. But, oh well. So as you can see, my fridge is in dire need of some cleaning and organization. So let's jump straight into the video. The best way to start any project is on a clean slate. So I'm going to remove everything on the shelves and drawers first. I wipe my shelves weekly, but the dried up bits of dosa batter that fall off the corners of the Tupperware just can't be avoided. So just going to quickly wipe off the shelves using a cleaning agent. So the milk I usually keep in one basket because we buy an assortment of milk from low fat, full cream and chocolate milk. So the soft drinks too I keep in a separate basket. In this way I can ensure that they are not all over the place. Makes no sense, but out of habit, I kept my cooking cream in the same basket. So now I won't forget where I put it. I also keep all my yogurt on the first rack. The bread goes into the second shelf. We buy a lot of eggs, so I just keep them all together in one basket. So that's it for the basics. So let's move on to the fruits and vegetables. I did a quick grocery run this morning and I need to put these away. These are the vegetables I already had in my fridge. I keep most of my fruits and vegetables in these two boxes. I think it does a great job of keeping them fresh. Also, it's nice to have them all in one place in these transparent boxes so I can see what's inside at a glance. These kitchen paper napkins have got to be your best friend. They play such a huge part in keeping the vegetables fresh. Vegetables like zucchini and cucumber hate moisture. So wrapping them individually in these paper napkins keeps them fresh for a long time. I had kept these half used zucchini and cucumbers wrapped in these paper napkins I think about 10 days ago. Just look how fresh they look. If I hadn't wrapped these up, they would have rotted by now. So since the napkins have become a bit moist, I'm just going to rewrap them in fresh napkins and put it along with my other vegetables. So these two veggie boxes go in the same rack as the eggs. So now you must be thinking, what do I keep in my vegetable drawer? Let's find out. I keep all my meal prep items in this drawer. 
I've washed it with soap and nicely dried it. And now let's organize. First up is my most precious ginger garlic paste. Next is a box of peeled onions. Placing a layer of paper napkins at the base of the box and at the top helps to keep the onions dry and makes them last longer. The broccoli, I will just cut them into small florets and store them in Ziploc bags without washing. These silicone Ziploc bags are a great find. They are not only reusable, but they also save space and keep the food fresh for a long time. I find that the best way to store green chilies are to remove the stems. So I remove the stems, wash them and dry them really well before storing them in an airtight container and of course using a paper napkin. These are my old ones which I bought over a month ago and they still are so fresh. The ginger too, I will store in Ziploc. Spring onions, fresh coriander leaves, mint leaves, they all stay fresh when wrapped in a paper towel, unwashed and stored in an airtight container or Ziplocs like these. I had kept some baby spinach in these Ziploc bags I think last week and they are still so fresh. That's a new packet of baby spinach which is unopened so I will just leave it like that for now. That's a box of butternut squash that I had meal prepped last week. Also have a box of soaked chana that I will probably use tonight. Also have a box of diced carrots. Meal prep helps me so much and reduces my time in the kitchen to a great extent. I got these mesh bags online to actually store my fruits and vegetables but they didn't work for me the veggies they spoil really fast in these bags so for vegetables like this cabbage where normally I would have just stored it in a plastic bag I'm using these bags garlic is something else that I always meal prep Having peeled garlic in hand saves plenty of time in the kitchen. Watermelon tastes best when eaten within the next two or three days. I always cut these up and box them as soon as I get back from the supermarket so that we can eat them when it's still fresh. The longer they sit in the fridge uncut, the lazier we get. So let's get back to the fridge. So my second rack is dedicated just for my leftover food. So today we have some leftover rice, rasam, Hummus, that's the dosa batter. So in the last track, I'm keeping the watermelon, mini oranges and the strawberries for Misha to take it whenever she wants to. Now in my fridge, I have a shallow drawer 
that comes right above my vegetable drawer. In this drawer, I mostly keep my baking needs like nuts and chocolate. So just going to organize them a bit more neatly. I make and eat a lot of granola, which explains why I have so many nuts inside. I don't usually use a lot of cashew nuts, but my mother-in-law gave me some when she last visited. So that's some pistachios and I have another bottle outside for Misha to snack on. That's some chia seeds. Some coconut flakes, which are almost over. They taste amazing in granola. I also have these premium quality cardamom pods, which I don't use very often. They are so precious to me and I use them only for making desserts. Then I have some dates and some dried cranberries. And that's a box of pecans waiting to be made into a dessert. Also have a packet of roasted vermicelli. I've kept it in the fridge just to keep its freshness as we don't make payasam that often. Then I have some white and dark chocolate. I'm just going to take out a few of these Coke cans just to make place for the other drinks. Then I have some leftover condensed milk and a slice of lemon cake which we bought for dessert yesterday. And of course some open chocolates. Keeping my open packet of tortillas in the meal prep drawer. Now to the doors. So on the top rack I have all the kids medicines, some saffron and vanilla essence. I had so many bottles of Indian pickles that my ex-domestic helper used to eat. So removed a few of them that we don't use and made place for the jam and margarine here. So here I keep all the sauces and seasoning that I usually do not keep outside. Here I have my olives, sun-dried tomatoes, jalapenos and some mayonnaise. This side of the door is utter chaos. I keep all my butter and cheese here. Yep, that's a lot of butter. I love to bake and it's usually unplanned. Most of the time, I think we're just lazy and dump the things in. I always keep my opened pack of uplums in the fridge. So just put it inside the Ziploc so it's not all over the place. So in this rack, I've kept some uplum, a box of cocoa powder, some chicken stock cubes and some sprinkles. So in this last rack, I've kept all my opened masala packets that I use very rarely.
So that's it for today's video guys. Hope you all found it useful. And stay tuned for part 2 of freezer organization coming soon. Until then, be happy and stay safe.